Hey, so here we are. Ethan, Brennan, and I made the trek right behind me here. That's Peace Pond. That is where our Camp Kigo is. It's named after uh, my grandfather, my Guido, Pete. So we are, it's a long trek. We took four hours to drive down here, went down uh, Lily Lake Road to Boot Bay Road, and now we're here. So we're just gonna start trekking stuff in and start uh, start paddling across Pete's Pond to the cabin. We're gonna have to do a couple of trips, but this is really, really cool. Ethan's never been here. I think it's really, uh, really important, really great family history that he does actually get here. Bee's been here a couple of times. She's super excited. Ethan, are you excited? Doesn't sound like he's excited, but that's okay. It's his first time. Lots of history at this place. My mom spent a lot of years here, actually growing up here. No joke, she went to school in a train car. Kind of crazy. But yeah, so it's been four years. Kate and I were here, um, and now we're back to uh, spend the weekend. So we're going to go gather some gear, and then we're going to paddle, and uh, I'll show you guys the cabin. Cool. Bye. Oh, you see it? There's the landing. There you go, there's the dock right there. Straight ahead. Almost there. All right, here we go, we've landed. Here's the landing. There it is. Kigo cabin. I'm gonna grab something here. Oh. I mean, all the remnants, look at that. It's beautiful, old stove. The, uh, the cabin's over 50 years old in itself. We have a nice big Kigo sign, old school lager. It's gorgeous, I love it. Oh, here comes a uh, Sasquatch. This trail here that uh, Ethan's coming down, this, this leads to the tracks. Hey bud. Oh, here we go. One of the things you do out here is walk the tracks. They're walking away from me. Oh, they're stopping. But then, if you walk, you get to see gorgeous things like this. Look at that. Gorgeous. It's just beautiful. And there's a creek, and then you paddle up that creek, and you paddle under this bridge, and you go out that way. Fantastic stuff. Sitting on Crayfish Lake in the rain. This is Crayfish. We are on the beach. We used to paddle from across there all the way down to this beach. Land on this beach. We'll see, Kigo 2020. And then there's a trail here. We used to go through the trail to the tracks and then all the way to the cabin. But now we're at the beach getting rained on. Oh, what a good Kigo time. <laughs> I guess you should find some trees. Uh-oh. It's a gorgeous Saturday morning here at day two at, uh, at Kigo. I'm just decided that uh, I can't be disgusting the entire uh, weekend. So I'm going to walk down the tracks here. I'm going to go jump in the lake in this, <laughs> this September long weekend and see how that turns out for me. Probably very cold, but uh, I like being clean. Last night was a very chilly night. We went to bed and woke up in the middle of the night and it was freezing as heck. Uh, so I forgot to put the uh, start a fire in the wood stove. So we're all a little bit tired. We're all a little bit cold, but none worse for wear. The kids are uh, back at the cabin lying in bed under all the covers waiting for the uh, the heat to rise. They're a little uh, unimpressed, but that's okay. So yeah, so I'm going to go and I'm going to hit the beach. It's going to be good. Oh, not that beach. That's... It's kind of mucky. So we're going to go do that. And then today we're going to go canoeing. Actually, if I go like this, if you take a look way, 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 way down there, on the other side of that island, there's a really, really big beach. Moon, crescent, beautiful sand. So I think we're going to go paddle the creek today. And then we're going to go check out that beach. Uh, it's going to be very, uh, very okay time. So we'll catch up with you after I have bathed like a monkey in the pond. Ciao. We 
are having a September long weekend beach day. So it's uh, windy as heck, a little chilly, but uh, kids want to come down and collect some shells uh, and play in the mud. So that is what we are doing. So I thought about, uh, <laughs> Brandon just got a soaker. <laughs> I kind of thought about uh, coming around, come on B. This is B. You having fun yet, B? Yeah. <laughs> nice. The lost mud city of Atlantis. Whoa, last walk on the tracks before we head home tomorrow morning. Me and the bee. We are looking for quartz. They're all over the place and I got a, I got a little thing I want to make and bee's going to collect some, clean them up, put them in a jar with lights. Yeah, yeah so it's kind of cool. Um, last walk on the track, just kind of you know, a little bit of sweet. I am going to miss this place, I always do, but I'm also going to be very, very happy to be home sleeping in my own bed, not uh, not having to chop firewood, although I do like chopping firewood, and uh, you know, having some electricity. It'll be a good time, we're going to get up early, early in the morning and, uh, and pack up and head out. Today there was a pretty big thunderstorm, we hung out at the beach though for a little while, and all in all, never got any canoeing done. It was just too much wind and, yeah, and rain. So. It'll be a good trek. We'll have a good night tonight, Dean, or B and I are going to play a little bit more D&D &D before we, uh, we shuffle off. So, for this year, Kigo 2020, in September long weekend, we bid you adieu.